to determine the enthalpy of dissolution of potassium nitrate, KNO3. Potassium nitrate is one of several nitrogen containing compounds collectively referred to as salt petri. Major uses of potassium nitrate are in fertilizers, tree stump removal, rocket propellants and fireworks. Ma'am, how can we determine the enthalpy of dissolution of potassium nitrate? A known volume of water is taken in a thermos flask and its temperature is noted and then W gram of solid KNO3 is mixed. Then the temperature of solution is noted. As the water equivalent is known, the change in temperature can be noted, the heat absorbed can be calculated. Let's do an experiment to determine the enthalpy of dissolution of potassium nitrate, KNO3. Our aim here is to determine the enthalpy of dissolution of potassium nitrate, KNO3. Materials required are thermo flask 250 ml connected with a thermometer and a stirrer, weighing bottle, graduated flask, chemical balance, weight box, solid KNO3, distilled water. Procedure Take the flask and fill it with 200 ml of distilled water and note the temperature of the liquid, T1. Now add weighed amount of KNO3 in the bottle. Stir the contents thoroughly so that the whole solute is dissolved and note the constant temperature again, T2. Observations Mass solute is equal to X gram Volume of water is equal to 200 ml Density of water is equal to 1 gram per ml Hence, mass of water is equal to 200 degrees Celsius Initial temperature of water is equal to T1 degree Celsius Final temperature after dissolution of KNO3 is equal to T2 degree Celsius. Fall in temperature is equal to T1 minus T2 degree Celsius. Water equivalent of the polythene bottle is equal to W. Calculation Q is equal to MC delta T is equal to W plus 200 into delta T into 4.184 Joule for 1 gram is equal to W plus 200 into delta T into 4.184 divided by X Joule for 1 mole is equal to W plus 200 into delta T into 4.184 into M divided by x molar mass of kno3 is equal to 101 gram per mole result the heat of solution of given solid solute kno3 is x joule per mole precautions the bulb of thermometer should not touch the bottom of thermos flask the substance should be mixed thoroughly in water before taking the temperature the solution should not splash out while stirring. Thank you ma'am for this knowledgeable experiment.